How to tax veterans' pensions? That's the question in front of lawmakers again this session. Reducing the tax could mean millions of dollars of lost revenue. But Montana business policy experts say it's an opportunity to attract a highly skilled workforce to the state. NPN's Jackie Coffin tells us more. Unemployment is low, but still a lot of businesses are looking to hire. Local business leaders say there's an entire population of skilled workers our state is missing out on. For Keegan Boggs, joining the military came from a sense of duty, country, and family tradition. Joined right out of high school after the summer of me graduating in 2015, uh, deploying to Afghanistan once and uh, attending Ranger School back down in Georgia after that. Moving to Montana, Boggs was motivated by something else. Uh, I got out of the military. Me and my buddies always loved hunting, so we knew there's a lot of waterfowl out in Billing, so we kind of just picked up and moved out here. But he faced difficulties taking his military training and applying it to the civilian workforce. Like my job, I was infantry, so that doesn't really, uh, toting guns and shooting around doesn't really transfer over to the civilian world besides security guard and cop, and I didn't really want to do any of those. But he's found a good job at Metro RV and is taking classes at MSU Billings. Dan Brooks with the Billings Chamber of Commerce sees retired veterans as an untapped workforce. It's uh, critical thinking, problem solving, uh, and decision making. And uh, so they come with those skills. But he sees a path to attracting retired veterans to Montana through a pair of bills now moving through the Montana legislature. Uh, we're looking at this potential legislation here, uh, exempting uh, portions of military retirement income to help uh, make Montana a little bit more attractive to those who are exiting military service. So the bills would excuse up to 50% of military pensions from income tax. But the bill's been carried before, stalling in the past sessions without full support from Democrats and Republicans. The criticism is this the loss of income to the state with as much as $9 million of lost revenue a year. But Brooks is optimistic that revenue could be found somewhere else. Uh, we see that as a significant win for our, our business community here in Montana. In Billings, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.